Hello everyone, I'm Scuba Scott here at the Everett Public Library. I work for Aquarium Concepts and I take care of this tank along with my co-worker Ray. Today I'll be cleaning the brown algae off of the corals and rocks. That algae is called a diatom and it floats around in the water and then also settles down onto the surfaces. And so we get that little brown smear that I'm going to get rid of today. Uh, but I'm also going to talk to you about the fish that are in the tank. Our first one is this beautiful emperor angelfish. Um, she's a very expensive fish, uh, so we make sure that she gets a lot of seaweed in her diet. Uh, we feed her nori, the, the seaweed that we, you would get on sushi rolls, like a California roll. Uh, but she doesn't get the rice, no rice for the fish. Um, then the other one is the dog face puffer. This one is the yellow phase, very rare as well. As you can see, the yellow belly on it. Most of the dog face puffers are all gray with black polka dots on them and some big teeth for chomping on clams. Then of course Dory is in the back. You know Dory from Finding Dory. Uh, can I say that? Yeah, okay. Uh, Dory is a blue tang or a regal tang is another name for it. And then Marlin and Nemo are in here as well. And they've disappeared now that I'm talking about them. We'll catch them. Oh, Mar Nemo's over on the side over here. Uh, Nemo's a clownfish, right? And Marlin's on the other side. He'll come out in a minute. And they are percolate clownfish. They have a little bit of extra black between the white stripes that you can tell them from the Ocellaris clownfish. Um, the gray and silver and black striped fish in the upper center there is called a Bangai cardinal fish or hyphen cardinal. And they're very exciting because they only came originally from the Bangai Islands of Indonesia. And also what's exciting about them is that the, the male, the father, holds the eggs in his mouth for up to a month while they wait to hatch. And he'll roll them around in his mouth like that so that the eggs rotate and can get enough oxygen so once they hatch. He'll keep the babies in his mouth once they hatch until they're all ready to go out and swim on their own and hide away from predators. Who else do we cover? Oh, up on top of the lava rock there is the flame hawkfish. It looks similar to the plant here, but the, the hawkfish is called a hawkfish because they perch up on top of rocks like a hawk would perch on a telephone wire. And when they see food, they swoop down and grab it and eat it real quick and then they go back to their perch. Part of the reason they do that is they don't have a swim bladder uh, that helps them stay buoyant in the water column like all the other fish do. So they have to swoop down, crawl around, swim around, swoop back up, and move place to place by swimming and swooping. <laughs> we could have called it a swoop fish, I don't know. There's a, okay, if it comes back around, there's a yellow fish with a long black and white nose. That one's called a fox face because the nose looks like a fox, uh, a red fox or a gray fox. But here it comes through the bubbles. Sometimes they like to eat the bubbles and it tickles their gills, I, I guess, I don't know. Or maybe they just like burping a lot. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. So that's about everybody in the tank here, except for the algae, but we're gonna get rid of the algae so it looks more pretty and, and we can still see it all the time. So I want everybody to stay safe out there, wear your masks, and have a good week.